the DJI Varta. <laughs> Guys, the speculation's over. Let's get into it. Guys, the leaks have just been coming month in and month out. The video we're gonna show up right now, the influencer dri driving, flying the drone, they had signed an NDA, but the guy recording that video, it just threw it up. So DJI, I've definitely seen that leak. We've been waiting for this type of thing mm. for a while. Oh yeah, I it's like, so DJI's first take on the Cinewhoop. Is it the Cinewhoop? Yeah, this is the Cinewhoop. This is the Cinewhoop. Yeah. The uh, Bumblebee. And I broke it. I think it was a day after we tried fixing it, there was the first leak of the Avata. But the whole FPV spectrum on a whole is just blown up. Films such as Red Notice and Ambulance, the, the uptake in FPV shots has just been insane. Like yeah. FPV was a hobbyist, but now it, with the DJI Varta and this drone, it's now become a consumer. Has there been any leaks online where it's flashed up like, you know, the separate things to buy? Well, yeah, there was a major leak, funnily enough, and the source is Twitter. I know, Twitter. But the, <laughs> the leak was additional bits of kit, like bat, the Avata battery, charging, props. And then suddenly they had to remove it. It was just gone. Somebody made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. So you've probably seen the video of the motocross leak of the guy using the motion controller. I couldn't think of anything worse than controlling a drone. It with looks a terrifying. Motion, motion it's a, it looks more impressive actually using that. But it's like, how agile could you really be? I know what you're thinking. Oh no, it's not compatible with the normal DJI controller. It is. Oh, the goggles as well. If with the original FPV, they will also be compatible. So it's not like with the combo kit, it's going to be the whole shebang, but you're not going to be able to just buy the base drone, I don't think. But the leaks of the goggles which come with the Avata, they mm. look smaller. They look yeah. more like the closer to the, like the shark mm. goggles in the obviously the, the hobby world. Mm. And I think I'm quite intrigued. They look more comfortable. They look more compact. Yeah. They almost look like they're upside down, almost. Yeah, I th um, I'm not sure about the design. It looks like they tried to make it look like a bug. Every drone flyer, a pilot, whatever you like to call yourself, it's always concerned about batteries. Yeah. Like the Ceni work, you could fly that for about two or three minutes mm. and then you're done. Swapping batteries after batteries after batteries. What's the score on the battery? For? So from what we know so far, I'll throw up an image, it supports the 4S battery and I think you get about 35.71 watts of power. So that's about 18 minutes idle. So that's when the drones push most, when it's just idling, right. idling in the air. So that's 18 minutes. But I think if you were to really push it with the battery, probably 12 minutes of flight time. Yeah, experience has told us we've got like the, the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Zoom, I've got the Mavic Mini 2. Yeah. The battery life, when they give out how long it's going to fly, 18 minutes, almost take away 25, 30% of that flight time because number one, we turn to home, yeah. all that side of things. It depends on environmental conditions, wind, how fast you're pushing it. But I reckon for most people who are flying an FPV, yeah. they want to be throttling it and go oh, quite sure. fast. So, you know, optimistically, I'll probably say it's probably going to be close to 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, just with this drone, for example, like when you whack the GoPro on the additional weight we're, and really pushing the drone on the sticks, six minutes of flight time, which is just, you know... It don't give you much, does it? No. So we're going to cover the design now. Andy, what are your thoughts on the whole design, the look? You filmed the kind of cinematic Mavic style. What's your take on this design? The actual look of it, I actually quite like. It's obviously mm. mimicking a lot of drones out there with the battery on top, which yeah. is very different for DJI. Obviously, the batteries usually slot in its ass yes. behind no. <laughs> in no. the back. But this is the first drone where you can have a battery on top. But it looks like it could take a beating. Oh, yeah. Like the, I think it's just speculation. I think it's alloy. The frame is alloy. Again, that would be a first metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for DJI. What I like to see, and I dare say people will come out with a mount where you can put the GoPro on top. Yeah. But obviously, if you put the camera on top, mm. it's going to drain the battery more. So I'm really hoping they've improved the camera compared to what this one is. When you fly this one, you see the props. Yeah. But the design of this one, mm. the camera's right in front of the props, so you won't see but it. But we know for a fact it's going to be 4K at 60 FPS, but we're going to throw up a picture of the actual specs that it's rumoured to, to be able to capture. So feel free to pause the video. So Rob, let's talk about the sound. We know that drones make some horrendous noise, yeah. like you're being attacked by a bee. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up some footage of me riding my motorbike yeah. and it was very scary. What did it sound like? It sounded like I was being attacked oh, by, by like hornet wasps, everything. Yeah. Sound is 
important, especially if you're working with clients. I imagine when the Avata drops, people are going to be using it for real estate fly-throughs. What makes a good drone video mm. is the folio, the sound design, oh, yeah. everything which goes into it. But from the physical sound of it, I think it's going to be high pitch, and I don't think yeah. that's going to be a bad thing. No, not at all. So our final point now, price. I mean, what are your thoughts, Andy? What do you reckon? My thoughts are that DJI have been pretty consistent with their pricing. Mm. Apart from like the Mavic 3 Pro, which went above the £2,000 mark, I believe this is going to be below that. You've got the combo edition. Just yeah. The, I, you could buy the drone by itself. Yeah, they speculate $1,300 more or less. If you're watching this and it's released and it turns out it's $500, this is not going to look good on, on the bridge. <laughs> So what did you guys think of this video? Were we utterly wrong or eh, almost correct? Um, let us know in the comments. And if you have enjoyed, please leave a like. And of course, if you do end up buying an Avato, you need a good bit of kit to edit on. Mm. Check out our video where we review the Mac Studio.